$500 on the line. And we'll see who can escape with the very first round of it all. Starting things off from the overhead. As we can expect, quite a few fights off the break. But the one that we always talk about is going to be that control tower. And I'm curious how Ghost Gaming can handle this dynamic duo from Rise. And you're going to see a Vexy circle lance in the back. That, that duo I was telling you about on Ghost is up there to match him. Dezo and Identiv. So definitely a battle of the Titans. Power is going to come out first blood on Wydenivs. Looks like on the other end of the map, though, Sleeper wins the 1v1 over at the Home Hills. Now if Ghost go in the middle, look at wow. that. It's five dead on Rise. And because Sleeper won that fight so quickly, he's instantly on Rise Nation's Home Hill. And that's going to be a triple cap. That was quick. This is fun. I'm excited for this. A 36-second round to kick things off. We were talking about Ghost Gaming. Can they kind of you know start off this one with some fire? I think that is uh, the definite answer. That's for sure. Wonderful start coming in from Ghost Gaming and now if you're Rise Nation, let's see exactly what their idea is going to be for weapon placement. Maybe some nades possibly in middle. And they and they, they're very go smart X's, choice yeah. by Rise to put the axe up. Must have been listening to, uh, to, to the great analyst of myself <laughs> in the chat telling them not to uh, not to let the marches go down. Yeah. But looks like they either way, of course, they, they know they know to X out the marches. They got two great coaches. So they know X out the marks against Ghost Gaming. They do just that. And now like you saw Rise actually did kind of appear to sort of start to win the fight um, up top, but it became to the point where they lost the other side of the map, both right. in the middle and the 1v1. At that point, you just you, you nothing you can do at that point. Even if you come out on top, you just get trip capped. Set back up here in Control Tower. Let's see who can walk away with it this time. Last time around, it was Ghost. It looks as if Avexi is getting involved oh in the my. fray as he'll drop a few. Wonderful play off the break. It was a one-man wrecking crew immediately going for the OE, possibly being even aware of the flank. Regardless, though, Avexi's fantastic play off the break. That totally sets the tone for Rise Nation, and Detox has taken it as well. Headshot on to Sleeper, making it back now to their home hill, and back and forth we go. Possible dominations in very quick fashion, as just as Ghost comes in with one, Rise Nation is there to chalk up another. That play that, that Avexi's made up top was very flashy, but it was so, so like the, the amount of precision involved in doing that, I don't think people understand at home, right? So to be able to, to get that kill like that and then obviously clean up the second one was absolutely huge. And of course, you see the slugfest that we knew we would get. Both of these teams getting the wipes and then instantly hitting the other team's home hill. One to one in two very, very quick rounds. Let's see possibly what that weapon placement Whoa. looks like. I was going to see if I saw a boom up top, I was going to. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I don't know if that's necessarily the, the ideal. So in Sins, in Incinerator, like I said, kind of that, uh, that per typical, it seems as if recently. Boom, t boom Top gets placed once in a while, and that fight is wild. I can imagine. Slow coast, so ah, so close quarters, so many smokes flying around, Lancers going off, boom, well, uh, At that point, do you send three in control, right? Some, or maybe sometimes four? people send four, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like said, it, it can get nuts sometimes. Right. And it obviously depends on what else is on the map, but let's take a look over at Powers again. Oh, this is gonna Won be the fun. up and coming player of the year, season two. Deserve for sure. Ve Vexy's gonna get the con identifies. Monkey's gonna answer back on the other end of the map. Now it's gonna be Powers into Vexy's versus Dezo. He's gonna try and do his best to get out because his partner's been taken out. Monkey's getting another kill in the middle, doing a great job. At the same so time, the, Sleeper grabs the Yeah, instance. so the middle fight is won by Ghost. Up top fight is won by Rise Nation. It looks like that 1v1 fight over there is going down, and it looks like. I think that Sleeper took out Drix. Oh, no, it looks like Chaos actually, once they won the middle, Chaos rotated over to help Sleeper take out Drix. So good job by him. And now multiple members of Rise are going down. The Vexies and I believe Powers both get taken out. Shock and Detox are all that's left. Oh my gosh, Rise Nation. Pretty much on the back foot now, possibly even trying to get out of dodge. And we know Ghost Gaming, they want to go for the rush. They're not happy with just kind of having mid control. They want the entirety of the map. They want these dominations. Unfortunately, though, for Identifs, he's not going to be able to escape for much longer. Thankfully, though, does have some teammate support, just as when I start to call that out. Monkeys and Co. are here when it comes down to Incinerator. Diesel firing away with the snub pistol, just trying to back up the opponents as Identifs as well, there to capitalize. Smokes are tossed out. Sleever doing some damage through mid-map. It looks as if the domination possibly could be coming in here shortly. It looks as if Rise somehow managing to hold on for the time, but Ghost continually are there as now it's back to that mid-hill. Yeah, and you see the members of Ghost off spawn rather than go to their home hill, going straight over to B because they know that that's where they can take the advantage. So heads up play by them. And now, now let's take their home hill back. I mean, they're going to be back in control. Three members are down from Ghost Gaming. That's going to be four. And now, if you're Rise Nation, this could be a good chance for you to maybe get a trip cap of your own. Definitely could. If Xyz 
And Shock holding this one down off of spawn. Let's see how this 2v2 fight, now 2v3 fight starts to come as players are off spawn. Well, there goes one. Lovely headshot coming in from Shock. Looking to try to wall bounce a little bit from side to side of Xyz. First one to engage, not a whole lot of HP lost, and he's going to possibly take down another. Nice teamwork coming in from Rise Nation as they take there down this. Ghost again. As back and forth we go, this time though, Rise Nation compiling two in a row. It was a much longer round than the prior two, but one that equals out to Rise again. And the Vex, he's 12 oh my kills gosh. in three rounds. Everyone else on his team won two and three. more than his three. team combined, like a every single player. man wrecking crew. Of course, he's been doing huge things up top and then taking those same skills over to the other parts of the map and just absolutely destroying everyone. So fantastic oh. work by him. And there you go, Land. I told you, you might see that boom middle play into your strengths. You I, saw. I, I feel like they're, okay, they're doing Remember it. Remember I told I you that before the map, I, th I thought that I favor Ghost in the middle of this fight. I favor right. Rise up top. Rise winning up top. Ghost seemingly winning the middle, right? So they're playing into their strengths. Yep. If you see a, a, that Rise maybe lose this round, I might see a weapon up top. You know what I'm saying? You always want to play into your strengths, and Ghost is doing just that. They feel that they're the stronger team in the middle, so they're going to make sure the fight goes there instead of making the fight go up top. And with those marks, it's kind of out of the picture now as well. And in regards to overall placement, I think that they, that's yeah. kind of like the only option that they do have. Maybe the marks would have came in earlier, but since those were X'd out previously by Rise Nation, now may be the time. It looks as if it's going to be Chaos grabbing it off the start. Fires away and does take down Powers off the break, and it looks as if he'll combine for another one. Dropping Shock, unfortunately, does take down his teammate in the process, but you could argue it is somewhat of a worthy transaction. Yeah, I mean, looks like, and it depends on Lance the player down, got kind of lucky there. Ended up being kind of a 1v2 situation at the end, but what that does is basically, I said, that that creates the, the mid round that you're looking for, right? You, you create the fight that you feel comfortable in. They did get out with Boom, right? So they lost players in the middle, but they did kind of achieve their goal, which was to get out with Boom. Now you're going to start to see the hills become capped. <laughs> he knows. Yeah, so it's like, I need somebody with uh, with this dynamic duo up top. Yeah, and Dezo picks up the incense in the process as well. So now you're going to finally see points come on the board. So now I think you're going to see a lot of these teams. You're going to see a kind of a fight for up top. There is no, uh, obviously, hill at, at the incinerator right now. And I think Monkey's in it whipping a shot. Picks up the Vexies. You're going to see the next kind of fight, I think, come towards that, you know, sorry, the, the middle side. I was going to say B side. Towards that middle side to go get that boom shot. Because that's going to be up in, what, about maybe a minute and 20? Yeah, definitely. Unless Ghost can just slay out right now, which they're doing. Three members go down. Shock, they, they have him spotted. They know he's at B. Shock's best hope is to maybe even try to help his team or get a decap. If he can't get on B, he's going to end up running over to C. It's a smart play because then that's going to waste Ghost's time if he gets his full cap. So now they got to think about him in their side of the map versus running over to Ryze's side. So great play by Shock to stay alive, oh. make something out of it, gets the first kill on a monkey. He's looking for the second one on Identives. Unfortunately, misrolls and just like that on the other end. Four members of Rise go down. Just My back goodness. and forth, back and forth. Power's going to be last alive. The trip cap opportunity is coming in. Not going to get it. A fantastic counter wipe by Ghost Gaming. And Jeez. we have a 2 2. Shock made a great play, but on the other end, his whole team just got bombarded. Yeah. My goodness. I know I keep saying back and forth, but it literally is like in that round it's more specifically. It, it, oh my gosh, it absolutely is. 12 and 3 for Vexy. I don't think he found a kill in that particular round because I think we were giving him credit that he was at 12 kills last round. Regardless, though, let's go and see what the weapon placement might have in store as it will be Rise Nation, like I said, placing something in Control Tower, and they are going to be going for the long shot. So nothing out of sorts. Like I said, you talk about lanes, which one are kind of more preferred. Topside has been, like you mentioned, so heavily in Rise Nation from week one of Emergence Days. Now here in week three, the grand final continually going for that top control. However, we know most of the focus is going to be inside of mid. That kind of top side of the map has got to be one to look out for as it looks as if Powers... Decides to go ahead and go for the boom shot off the break, tossing out some smokes. And it looks as if for the time as so if Shock down and there Vexies too. take down two. Did they send no one up top? Or I, maybe I'm say they might not have sent anyone up top. Usually you would think it'd be one of them as they're the two players who fight up there. And so Rise just runs right through, just slays out and grabs boom. Yeah, because Detox off. later, I think he wraps but back around and that's, goes that's for five, yeah, that's yeah. Not gonna, that's, I can't see how close anyone is to see, but that might not matter. Yeah, oh yeah, Dezo's so they're gonna have, Well, they're going to have at least one boom to hold the home. Though. There comes the cap. There's that first boom kill coming in. All we got to do now is clean up Identives, who has to get a full break right now. Not even oh. just not even just a touch. See, he needs the full break. Not right. going to get it. And, okay, Ryze throwing something a little different at him. Again, like, we couldn't see if anyone was up top. Detox ended up getting the snipe. Maybe they have I Detox playing the 1v1. Because usually the way, yeah. when it booms down, usually you have your one player towards the homes. You have at least three over at mid. Then you usually have a 1v1 up top, especially when there's a weapon. Yeah. 
I, I, I don't remember. I thought that I saw Detox yeah. go mid, but I could be wrong. Like I said, you know, you never know, but still. Yeah, we can't really see that side of the map. But like you, it just goes to show how important that boom fight is, and that kind of establishes Ghost Gaming to take the focus away from Control Tower, saying, hey, like, you know, that top lane, you guys are normally very dominant at that. Now the focus gets brought toward middle. As we'll see exactly how this next round will Those partake. Those marks are down. They changed. Yeah. Obviously, in the last round, you can change right. weapons around. They changed the marks. So let's see if Monkeys can take over with his favorite weapon right now. On the other case, we do see Detox yeah. versus Chaos up top. So that could have been the case there. Monkeys, once the Monkeys gets that mark through the smoke, that's going to spell trouble and gets the instant down on him. You can see just how strong this team is when the marks is in their hands. Even if even if Detox then gets out, it's not going to matter. All four members are down on the other end. He, he, even then, though, Detox still gets taken out. Yeah, so that's right. going to be a, ri or, sorry, a Ghost Gaming triple cap, and we're going to end the first half with a 3-3. Three, three. Some goodness. of these rounds have just been absolute stompings. This has been a slugfest, and I love it. Yeah, it's not like, I mean, we've had a few rounds where it's been like, you know, oh, it's kind of coming down to the wire, but it's like, it's been domination after domination. We talked about it. this is going to be the map that, that kind of could potentially be the telling tale of the series, right? Yeah. This, is, this has been the map we knew both teams were so strong on, and they're showing it so far. Clean, clean map now, though. Yeah, no weapons. Late. Spawn timers drop back down. Hill moves from middle over the incinerator. That's going to make... Yeah. I mean, it it kind of incentivizes control still, obviously, because now you have the ability to, to kind of really focus a lot of attention on that incinerator. So that kind of now shifts the focus. I guess you could argue back in Rise Nation's favor, depending on how solid they have been in this spot on control as these are desperately trying to get out, unfortunately, left on the stairs and will unfortunately have a bunch of chunks fall down them. Rise is just so good at this fight, Landon. Yeah. No matter who they're playing against, De don't forget, Dezo and Identives are, are literally a, a power duo in their own, right? So right. to get that, get to get a consistent fight win over them, it's just insane. Well, I they're mean, not gonna hop in, yeah. They don't have time. time. Yeah. They, they, if you get the double cap in like that, they don't have time off spawn. Thirty-five so. seconds. I mean, someone like sets these rounds. It's just crazy. Like you were to tell me, oh yeah, we're gonna see a forty-three second round, a thirty-two second round, a thirty-five second round for Rise Nation and Ghost. I'm not sure what I would have, uh, yeah. I would have thought of that statement, but I mean, these are two of the most skilled teams, and these are two of the the teams that have the most ability to get those five wipes. And right. like I said, Ghost because of they're the so motion. fast. They take advantage of their numbers better than anyone as well. You saw the second they get those numbers, they are off their opponent's home hill just like that. So, uh, man, we knew we knew it'd be a slugfest. We knew these are two aggressive teams. This has been a, a blast to watch so far. Marks was placed down for Ghost, as we talked about. That's kind of the main weapon that they like to utilize quite a bit. But still, that top side fight. Let's see if Ghost Gaming can start to make something of this. The one thing that's plagued them so much, the reason why they're currently down when it comes down to round count. Seems to be the issue because of Xyz taking down Idenims again. Powers going for the OE. Desperately trying to take down Dezo. And with a 2v1 advantage, you'd like to imagine they're going to walk away with this one pretty much unscathed. Detox dropping on the other side of the map, but that's not a problem. They still possess that top side control. They have possession over the button. And whenever they want to try and utilize those incinerators, they have the absolute opportunity to do so, trying to distance back Ghost Gaming. And it looks as if... They will go and utilize that meat shield. I thought that player might play somewhat of an impact, but not going to be the case. All signs positive right now for Rise Nation. Yeah, so I mean, Ghost basically won the incinerator side of the map because they lost the top side. They weren't able to cap. So a lot of that you know, map control comes for nothing. And now three members are dead. But, but Ghost is trip cap. There's only two of them alive. Almost did almost the Mr. Kraz of a century. He didn't end up getting <laughs> it, but... Uh, like I said, that, that top side can be so, so important on second half, especially because even if your team loses that incinerator fight, if you have control of that button, yeah. you're always going to give your team time to spawn back in. And they did just that. You saw, though, the second those marks get put down, Landon, you saw how much stronger Ghost becomes on those kind of, you know, I don't know what to call the fight, like the non-home hill fight and the non-top fight. Like the, the kind of, I know it's not the middle this time, but I kind of call it the mid fight. And now you just got to be so aware of that mark, so though. Like, oh, when, yeah. when you're facing off against Ghost, it's just a matter of, like, hey, we got to counter this ASAP. Like, we got to get this thing off the map as uh, Dezo quickly to grab another one as Detox on the other side grabs the mark. So. And a lot of initials, obviously, you throw smokes, right? So, a lot of it's a smoke fest. So, if you can get a mark on someone and, and they're in the smoke, if you, if you get that mark and the player can shoot them through the smoke, I mean, no that, it is just, yeah. it, that's their bread and butter, right? I mean, that's just, the, the player can't see them where they're getting hit from. They're getting drilled. They have no idea. I mean, that's just, that's the best it gets. And you saw that kind of in the beginning. Jeez. 
Maybe. And Dezo's, again, this whole team, for the most part, is really good with that weapon. So, And it kills on the ground. So, right. like I said, that, that it's such a deadly weapon for them to use across the board. Anytime anyone picks one up towards the mid round, it's going to be kind of in their favor. But look at Avex. He's in your kill feed right now, taking out two members. Drix going to come to the rescue and finish off the third. Great teamwork by Drix and Rise Nation is now four members of Ghost go down. One is off spawn. Power's gonna take out Dezo. The trip cap's gonna begin. It's gonna be up to Monkeys and Chaos. They get the touch, but Rise has some Marxists of their own landing. They do. And they're putting them to use. Two players alive. Avex is gonna take one out. Identum's gonna be last alive. They're gonna wait for him to hit the corner, so Spawn really runs out. Gonna take him out. Even if they don't get this trip cap, look at the score, 185. End up getting either way, though. 5-3 in favor of Rise Nation. They're looking strong. And like we said, Ghost had a good moment. I mean, for a time, it looks as if they were going to possibly go for the domination. Unfortunately, doesn't end up going their way. But my gosh, Avexi's bad. This guy is just continually it's, it's going off. It's not just a matter of, oh, you know, first round, first half, he was playing well. He is continually dominating 21 and 3. And as we look at the weapon placement, Ghost Gaming, they're saying, hey, the only way that we could take down Avexi's is by making him go middle by putting a boom shot down. They're going to rely a lot on possibly Identifs, maybe. Yeah, I mean, Desi to try and grab this boom shot to, to storm off what has been the Rise Nation Cavalry as of recent. Yeah, in my eyes, I mean, the ball's now in Ghost Gaming's court, right? You have kind of what you want. You get that boom in the middle with the marks of supporting. That, if, I mean, if you don't win these rounds, that, that's at the end of the day, that comes on you, right? It's going to be up to you guys to come to the occasion, get try to break this deficit. You see Monkey's getting the opening kill. Chaos, Chaos grabs, picking up yeah. the boom. Detox taken down as well. And there it is, Ghost Gaming doing what they do best. You see Monkeys, monkeys oh, with that no. mark. So it looks like Chaos takes himself out. Drix is last alive, but he's going to be pretty injured. Only two members alive, though, four ghosts. So even if they do get this wipe, they can't trip cap anyways. They only have two members alive. So Rise will live to breathe another day. Breathe, oh. breathe live another day. Something about another day, another breath, because they're alive. <laughs> I was going to say, Monkeys. He's got a fantastic inventory at the moment, that's for sure. It looks as and if the incinerator gets used, and unfortunately both of those weapons will come crashing down. What a play coming through from Avexis. He continually is a thorn in the side of Ghost when it comes down to that control tower, whether it's just up close fights or pressing the button. This guy has always got his finger on the trigger, and fortunately as he falls, he's got shock to possibly try and back him up, continually holding on to this particular area, throwing down his smoke, but... Rise still holding off for the time. And then it's now trigger look, looking through the smoke. Yeah. Trying to find where he could be at. He's actually going to be just toward your left, oh, trying he... to stay alive. And he, did he just take out his teammate? No, he shot at the kill. And then okay. Was there, up, okay. I thought for I mean, a second he killed his teammate. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, I mean, either way, it's, it's still as long as Ghost Gaming holds down the top side of, the, of that you know, control tower, has that button with the E-Hill cap, that puts them in the kind of the power position. But it looks like they want more. It looks like they're pushing over yeah. towards Detox in the home hill of Rise Nation as Rise looks to shift their resources over to E. Keep in mind, the the... the Incinerator should be oh. in the hands of Ghost Gaming still, so I don't think they have the opportunity to get the decap unless Identus might have left the fight. Yeah. And then he goes back he up goes there, so he might have left for a second, so that gave Ghost a little bit of an opening. Gonna hit that button though. Not gonna take anyone out in the process, but still, they live to hold E. They have D and E. He knows players are coming though. Yep. It's a natural, line, natural rotation for Rise would be to go up top next because if. if Identifs keeps holding up top with a button. There's nothing they can really do outside right. of play the home hills. You think they should try to send two up here, or do you think it's just? Buddy, took, look at that. So okay, I like that by Rise. So he basically uh, took took Identifs' attention, got yeah. him away from the button. Then they got the decap on the oh, E. Oh, and Chaos! Chaos luckily comes in with a big two piece of the boom. That's huge. But, but wall shock though, I, just to kind of reiterate why that play was so smart. Shock took Identifs away from the button, and while he made that call out that no one's that button anymore, that's when Rise was able to jump in and get the decap. Now fast forward a little longer, all the members of Rise Nation are going down, and it looks like Ghost Game is going to get the trip cap. But I wanted to make sure I point out that play because I liked it a yeah. lot. It was a very coordinated play, and you can see the communication there. Right. Again, it wasn't enough for the slaying power of Ghost, but still a great play. Yeah, there was definitely something brewing, that's for sure. Like you mentioned, like it was kind of getting his distraction away was a... Uh, a possible opportune moment for Rise Nation to walk away with the round. Despite that, though, not able to capitalize. It looks as if Rise Nation going back to their bread and butter, right? Placing the uh, the sniper long shot up in control tower. Like I said, probably going to see another 1v1 fight up top. You're going to see a few players kind of reference back for those marks and probably, what, the rest, the following three inside of middle to battle it out for the boom. As that is the mainframe, the weapon of choice. We'll see who can grab it off the break. Rise Nation known for how talented they are with it. Marks is grabbed for either side. And Identum's first one to start to engage is 
Desi and Chaos actually find the first two. Once again, uh, if they can start getting that top fight up together, obviously they're very good at that middle fight. That can spell trouble. Chaos can have that snipe now. They're going to get the, the down on powers. Drake's going to be last alive, I think, towards that incinerator. He's going to be stuck between a rock and a hard place. Four members alive of Ghost are going to have now snipe, top control, and boom shot. So all things looking wow. in favor of Ghost Gaming right now. It's up to them to use these resources and use them wisely, right? You can see the e hill starting to be capped. Looks like the Ethel's going to be capped as well. And Chaos is kind of taking a look over towards another hill to make sure that no one's kind of lurking. You see Identives slowly heading over to get that cap. e hill still has been uncapped, though, which... A little surprising because, like I said, they had the control of the tower. Right. But Adena's big two piece of the boom. Shock gets the full cap on E. Tries to maybe push Monkey because he knows Team Fire's coming in. Lancer's coming in on both sides. The power's looking to do his best to help Shock. Does a great job. Adena's tries to bait him out, though. Does with the boom. Great play by Adena's making the best. He's on a boom, getting not two, but three kills. Monkey puts the smoke out while he's down. Shock can't pick it up. And Identives to the rescue to take out yet another member of Rise Nation. Shock, though, takes out Monkeys before getting down. Good job by him to trade some of these kills out. Oh. And Vexy takes out Adenis in the process too now. Members of both teams are flying left and right. Trades are coming in here, there, and everywhere. Dezo with a big two-piece. Detox and powers last alive for Rise Nation. Chaos still holding that top side with the snipe. You gotta make, if you're Rise, you gotta be careful. Yeah. They try to push him. Let's see if he can get one. It's big shots right now. Big moment for Chaos. Tagging up, coming in from either side. Rise Nation just on the outskirts is another sniper. Double snipes right now for Monkeys and Chaos. We'll see if they can start to make a few of these shots land. Monkeys realizing, hey, maybe the shot is a little bit of a better weapon in this situation. Chaos desperately trying to get out of dodge as they will pretty much push him out. Monkeys ends up dropping on the other side. And still sniper on the hand of Chaos as Rise Nation is pretty much distance out ghosts from either side of this control tower, making them pretty much go back to their home hill. And that is where they will stay for the moment. Go still in ownership of that E Hill for the moment. So they're still getting the majority of the points. They're in a great lead, but they're still kind of, for the most part, a few guys are back in the base. Yeah, here comes the push. Snipe and marks in the hands of Ghost. You got to always favor that when you're, a, when you're a Ghost Gaming fan right now. Shocked on the other end. Ooh. Picks up the new boom. So I like that pressure setup that Rise applied because they, end up, because they, they were so far up. Ghost couldn't really necessarily advance, not netted rise the boom, but it doesn't appear to be enough now. A oh, shock gets taken wow. out by Sleeper with that Marksa. What else landed? The Marksa of Sleeper is so, so deadly. And you see him looking to finish this round off. We're about to be the 190 point. The boom is out of play. Two hills in Ghost's favor. I'm pretty sure they have control of the button as well. There is nothing Rise can do here. And we are about to have a five to five on map number one. My goodness. Ryan's Nation, they're having some good moments. I'll be honest, like it's looking like, okay, you know, kind of they're in the driver's seat. They had that good moment at the end of the round, uh, you know, where the kind of distance goes back, but they don't really capitalize on it. You're pretty much making Ghost be in the back of their base, but they have no progress being made when it comes down to E. So regardless of all that progress, it doesn't equal out to much success. So back to the drawing board they go and back to the weapon placement. And it looks as if Incense back in Incinerator, nothing too out of sorts, boom. Back in middle, of course, as we'll see who can grab the advantage, who can get on that map point. Ghost Gaming has been looking great as of recent. We'll see if they can continue to capitalize. This initial is going to be so important right now. Can Rise kind of make the adjustments to come out with that boom? Ghost has done a much better job, I'd say, so far in this middle, and it's partially because of the power of that, that team fire and that marks. So, let's see if actually Getting a good angle in there over towards the incinerator fight. Powers picking up the first two kills on Dezo and Monkeys. Great start by Rise Nation. Of Xy's kind of likely be in position to get this boom, but instead decides to help his teammate. Identifies goes down. Chaos at four percent. This is looking like a Rise Nation push. It definitely is. It's not looking great. If you're a Ghost Ka Gaming Ka fan, Chaos last alive. Even if he stays alive, doesn't matter. It's oh. five members dead. In detox, yeah, Rise got is everything. Be on the move to the trip cap right now. Dezo off of spawn. And that boom be off spawn as well. Because that hill is full cap land, it's just going to be so much harder. Now there's incense in the hill as well. There's Jeez. nowhere and absolutely nothing you can do to stay alive. Fantastic initial by Rise Nation, answer, Rise Nation answering back and taking the lead. Six to five. This has been an incredible map. And if Xyz 27 and five, continuing to be that main slayer. And I'm just going to say, are we going to see possibly a weapon switch up?
maybe an X in control tower. Yeah, I mean, if you're ghost, ghost, which not, makes not sense. a ton. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, they want to get rid of control as being the main. Op well, it's you're not still going to see someone. If the main's always there. It's yeah. about, I guess, again, it's that or take away the incense, maybe. Uh, yeah. uh, Chaos has done fairly well up top as well, gotten sniped himself. So, again, that, that's not where the meat and potatoes of this fight are, right? The meat and potatoes of this fight are in the middle, right. where that boom shot is, where the marks are going to be shooting. I mean, that's that's really where the everything's going to kind of go down. So. I'm looking forward to seeing kind of who can come out on top this time. Are we going to see that round 13 we thought might be happening, or will Rise Nation finish it off with a scoreline of 7 to 5? Identum's getting first blood on the powers this time. Sleeper going to come out with those incense. The Mexican trade the kills out before getting taken out himself. And now Dezo's going to have a nice angle over onto Shock. Shock kind of sees it coming. Dezo gets the nice kill and rolls back. And now there comes that Marks to help it out. Ooh. But Shock! Makes a great shot. Got the headshot on the Dezo. That, that looked like a far chunk range, but ended up getting it anyways. And now Drix is last alive. Two in front of him. Chaos going to try and go wide on him with that pistol. Doesn't want to get hit in chunk range. Still does have. Drix gets taken out as well now. But Ryze has a couple shot. players off spawn and two players alive now. So, I mean, not necessarily the, the, the most dominant yeah. situation in the beginning. Get off the button. He hits it anyways, but he gets the down. I don't think his teammates to clean it up. Identus is there to clean it up. Now I think Avexis is pushing him up top as well. So if Identus can get that kill on Avexis, which he does, that'll be a huge swing now as Identus is going to have control of topside and button. It's going to be one player off spawn for Ryze. Two currently are alive towards that home hill. And they're not even worrying about the button. They're going straight for this round win. It's 5v3 at the home hill. Full pedal to the metal. Let's see if Ghost can start to lock this one down. Ryze only three men up. Powers, though, just off of spawn. Firing away through the smoke, and we obviously start to see the domination could be coming in shortly. Can Rise get to the hill in time? Detox is on all fours, not having a whole lot of progress. It looks as if someone does manage to get the deny, though. And I, I think it's going to be a fantastic kill to turn kind of on the first player and then get the down one as well. Now the boom shot is going to be in Ghost's hands. Five players are going to go down. Round 13 is among us, Landon. Fantastic plays by Ghost. I was a little worried at first because it looked like they weren't necessarily hitting the hill fast enough. Yeah. And it looked like two Rise players were going to be off spawn pretty soon. But they ended up pushing forward. Identives gets a huge two-piece that opens up the other players to kind of follow him up, push in. And obviously that boom shot coming over there, of course, always helps as well. Ghost Gaming finishes off the triple cap, and we are heading to a round 13. Rise Ooh. Nation doing what I was oh, just going to say. I think yeah. they're going to do and take that boom completely off the map now. That totally makes sense. Because now they get to rely back on their meat and potatoes, right? That yeah. top fight that they're so, so good at. The only other side of the thing is that, of course, we've seen Ghost do so well on the middle side of that map, and now they have Marks is there, too. So yeah. definitely going to be a, a crazy fight, because whoever comes out of that fight gets the nades. Then you can potentially throw nades up top to disrupt the nade fight. So many things can happen right now. It's going to come down to these fights and how fast they develop. Rise Nation has made it. And, and Monkey's apparent. already with the marks that immediately gets a headshot. Hi, this, this guy is incredible. And taking down Drix in the process, it looks like. So great beginning. If you are the side of Ghost Gaming, despite that, though, it looks as if two players down right now for Rise. It's somewhat of a slower pace. You see all of those rigs starting to be taken, all those hills starting to fluctuate back and forth. Obviously, Ben's right now to Rise Nation holding both D and F. So pretty much on opposite sides. Only one is that one where button control is currently in the hands of power. So if Ryze wants to kind of hold on to this, that's going to work out for them. I will say in the, during the midst of this, they are losing D. That's, yeah, I mean, they, they had the double home, so that wasn't going to last forever, obviously. So now if you're Ghost Gaming, you have the time lead still. Obviously, now it's going to extend even farther because you have Hills D and E, and they have up top. But Detox is going to open up with a marks a headshot of his own. Mr. Round 13 himself can't wow. stop making plays in our Emergence Days tournaments. Yeah, such a long and, respawn, and, and too. It, looking for another one. Gets them down on Dezo. This man can't be stopped. Oh, what was Monkey's looking like advantages for Ghost Gaming just swayed completely in Rise Nation's favor right now. I don't know if anyone can get to the home hill in time. Oh. But someone snuck E, but he's only going to be alive for so long. This is looking like all Rise Nation and an absolute blunder for Ghost Gaming as they had control. I think Powers And Dezo gets one kill. Pa Powers, I think, might have been a near button as well, at least was previously, so we can easily do whatever around this portion. It looks as if he has backed up. Now going back to the spawn, it looks as if he feels confident, and he has every right to feel that way. However, just as I say that I didn't have quick to hop in, and that should be it. No one alive for Ghost Gaming as Rise respawned back in round number 13, coming all the way down to the wire. But it is Rise who stand tall with what? 28 and 7 from a Vexes, a solid ending there from Powers as well. Just a I dominant showing from all the Rise Nation players. But Ryan, what kind of happened toward the end of that one? 
Detox won them another yeah. round 13 yep. at the UMG studio, Landon. Glad that's you, what happened. To say, yeah. Literally, Ghost Gaming does everything perfect. They win the initial. They get control of the two hills you want. Of course, your home hill and the neutral. They had control of the top side of the map. And then out of nowhere, Detox opens up with a Marksa headshot of his own. That allows the Rise Nation players to advance. I believe it was Powers who followed up another kill. And when that fight started to develop, players on Ghost jumped into their power. And then Detox had a wide open view of the player, gets the down of the player in power. Yeah. That forces the other player to go for the revive and then Rise Nation got to close in. The marks that continue to rain down and then Powers I believe gets another kill, maybe even two. And then again, once once that headshot opened up and then the down opened up, it's off to the races. You know Rise Nation's gonna take control of their advantages better than so many teams and so they just went to do what they did best, took the numbers, capitalized on it, pushed forward and took the round. And that's a hard, that's a hard one for Ghost, man. Oh, that they, they had that, everything look perfect. They were looking solid. I mean, do you think that, you know, kind of coming in that last round, the ability to kind of pretty much get Boom out of the picture really was like what kind of set the tone for that round 13 that kind of put the favor back in Rise's I hands? mean, yeah. I, I mean, actually, to be honest, at that point, no, because yeah. Ghost won the, in my eyes, after it all, all the dust settled, Ghost won the initial. So mm -hmm. despite, I, I wouldn't say that the Boom being taken off the map was really the reason. I think it's just the clutch play with the marks. Rise right? and Detox made a huge play in the mid round. Uh, I guess I don't even call it a retake because it all happened so fast. I mean, it wasn't even right. a retake at that point. They just it all happened so quickly. Got the headshot and they just moved. And then once they started moving, it was just over. It's funny, right? Because we were talking kind of quite a bit about you know that mid kind of fight, the ability for for what Ghost Gaming specialties are. The boom in middle, they went the marks just kind of up toward the sides. And the marks is the one thing that they were kind of specialized in, and that's the weapon that takes them out in yeah. the end with, 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 of course, that wonderful clutch that comes in from Detox. My goodness, man. Like I said, that was kind of like the, the major break off. It was like, okay, Ghost is looking good. Oh, my gosh. That initial, when everything kind of slowed down, that's what happens in a lot of, you know, esports when it comes like to my, you know, background of Search and Destroy. Round 11, and obviously in this case, round 13, everybody, they do not want to be the, the person who made the mistake. They sure. want to be the guy who caused first blood and pretty much catapulted the rest of the round. And for someone to kind of step up to be that leader, catches the angle with the Marksa, I mean, that's kind of been the, the frame of reference, I feel like, throughout the, the last few uh, you know, kind of weeks of the emergence days has been the, the ability of the Marxist kind of, you know, notoriety has been gaining more and more over time. And I think it's fair to say it kind of settled the score there. Yeah, I mean, like I said, the, the Marks, I think, is what kind of kept Ghost Gaming into this to get it to the point of around 13 and it ended up kind of being the Marks uh, that ended up being what finished off the map in favor of Rise Nation. So, yeah. again, huge, huge shout-out to them. Huge clutch by Detox. Again, not the first time he's done this at the UMG studio. Uh, oh, so yeah, it's so true. Just, <laughs> at this point, you got almost <laughs> expected, I guess, but uh, huge plays by them. And now we head in the foundation. This is where things get dicey now because, right. I, like I said, I, I kind of favor Rise Nation on foundation. Because you were course. talking about Ghost you thought might be able to escape with the first I game thought That's where I thought it kind of came down to. Right. Keep in mind, yeah. Ghost picked Forge, right? So they felt confident. Again, that's where I thought that uh, when, when I saw Map 3, I go, okay, that, that could be where they maybe have their edge too, but right. not getting out with that Forge is going to make life tough because you know just how good Rise Nation is at Foundation. So it's going to be up to Ghost to, to answer the call. You know, hey, your map pick got stolen. Now go steal theirs away, right? And send us to yep. a Map 3. Oh, man. I'm, I'm excited to see exactly how Foundation is going to kind of, you know, finish off exactly. Like I said, Rise Nation, this is somewhat of their pick. This is the one that they want to kind of be yeah. on for the most part. Obviously, Foundation is played by. It's like the most played map yep. in Gears War 4. So, I mean, they're every, every team is going to kind of have their experiences with it, uh, you know, in general. So, I think this one's going to be fun. Like I said, I, I really don't know what to expect. I feel like Ghost Gamer are going to come out with a fire after losing that last one. But if you're Rise... You took the wind out of their sails, right? I mean, you were playing super well. They were, they were kind of dominating when it came down to middle, and obviously they still dominate off the initial. And so for Ghost Gaming, it wasn't as if, oh, you know, guys, we got we got destroyed first map. It's whatever. It's like it came down to the last okay, round yeah. of which came down to a clutch that was a mistake on your end. Like you allowed for, uh, you know, detox to kind of get that opportunity to constantly take down off the break. So. I don't know, man. Momentum. Well, people always talk about, oh, you know, momentum in esports. It's not a thing. Do, have you played sports? Like, do you know, <laughs> like how how gaming works? You know, competition works. Momentum is absolutely a thing. And like I said maybe ghosts. They could become. They could come out deflated, or they could come out with with something to prove here. So yeah, I mean, I know this ghost team has ice in their veins, right? They've done this before. Right. They've they've shaken off a map one loss and then instantly wiped the next two. So definitely not a team you can count out by any means. Just because I think that Rise Nation's a better foundation does not mean that Ghost cannot come out. Oh, hit, yeah, hit him in the mouth and send us to a map number three right. again. I I just predicted Ghost Gaming to win the series. Right? I, I believe yeah. in these boys. I've seen enough of them. Uh, you know, I've seen with this new roster. I've seen what it can do. I know what it's capable of. And so again, I think that we're in for another good map too. But uh, if you rise, you're thinking you're pretty happy right now. Oh, yeah. You've got to be, right? You kind of walked away with the map that you kind of come into the series and said, hey, we got, guys, we need to win this one. If we lock this one down, we're in a fantastic spot. They accomplished that, and now they're in a really good spot for the rest of the series. Let's go ahead and see exactly how map two will play out when it comes down to foundation.
Possibly, Ryan, our last map in the series, of course, if there are Ghost fans out there, which I know there are. There's plenty of you guys out there, Latim, representing. They want to see map three when it's on Arbor. But off the break, off the initial, it's all about the mid-fights and Avexis and Powers. Happen to be specialty specialists when it comes down to these particular ones. Smoke's tossed out. Everybody's stunned, regardless, though, Avexis ends up dropping. And it looks as if Monkeys gets res back from his teammate. Yeah, it looks like Ghost came and making their way over to that cave. Now they kind of seem to win the fight towards that open area. But Drix is going to answer back on Dezo. Vexi's going to, or sorry, Detox going to come help him out. Kills being traded left and right. Players flying through cave. Three members are now down for Ghost Gaming. Short spawns us. They'll be back before you know it. Identif answers back as well, as does Chaos with a beautiful Ooh. shot around that H before Powers trades him as well. It's just been landing trade for trade. Look, at there's not even a hill cap yet. I was going to say, yeah, it's just like everybody is focusing so much attention to this mid-map position, and it obviously makes sense. Powers styling a little bit toward the end. And Vexi's being super aware of that A hill. Monkeys, one of the first flags, or rather, excuse me, the first points to be captured as B as well. Grab from Rise Nation, so overall control going over to them. And you can see that the OE looks like it's coming into play right now. You're seeing the members of Ghost Gaming heading maybe towards that cat, that catwalk, sorry. And you saw Drix kind of saw it was coming. Actually ends up taking out one. Shock going to end up pushing over towards their home hill as well. Now Sleeper getting taken out. Three members go down for Ghost. Make that four. And now the last player left is going to be Monkeys, I believe, off spawn. Yeah, yep, there it is. There's two players here. Rise Nation Hill being capped. Ghost in the process of being capped. Bounces around. Vexi's going to oh, take man. him out. And go Rise Nation going to put their first round on the board. And that's, that's great work from Rise Nation based off like kind of splitting. Like, I think what they send two back to their home hill to watch the overextension that maybe a ghost player could have made if the fight wouldn't have gone their way, just yeah. being aware for future fights. Plus, they send just enough players to kind of, or rather, I think it was one through mid, two on their, uh, on uh, I think that was Crane Hill, to be aware of those players coming off spawn. So great distancing coming in from Rise Nation, I think, and great communication coming in from them as well, realizing, hey, this is where we should kind of spread throughout the map. We know ha we have the advantage. Let's make sure to kind of plan, you know, for what could be the worst if Ghost kind of has a, a good break at a certain point. But Rise Nation, first blood found in terms of the rounds. X place down for Ghost Gaming. Is that a surprise, you think, off the break to kind of place it down? where Boomshot normally would go? I mean, just makes base says you don't like the fight. That's kind of your way of saying, I don't, I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, again, the, the X, is, that basically means that the players are still confident enough in that initial. They're confident enough in the current fight on the board right. not to drastically change it around. So you're seeing Ghost answering back on this initial, getting two members of Rise Nation down. You're seeing Shock behind enemy lines right now. They don't know he's here, but he does see his teammate go down. So he knows that at best he's going for a trade. Successfully gets the hide off. I'm not calling a secret, man, because it's not Ooh. a thing, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to get this kill on the Chaos, who's just kind of dancing around that H. But now decap on A. So now Rise Nation has wow. a chance to kind of answer back of, on their own. Detox taken down in the process. Three members of Ghost at the same time are taken out. And now Rise Finally. has control of B, and they are you know, down 40 points. It's kind of a, a result of it. Ooh. Powers. Ooh. Make sure he gets that A hill. He sees another player pushing in front of him, backs up, oh. takes out Identives as well. Someone stop this man. He says, Someone want to stop? Does someone want to step in the ring with me? Because clearly no one's been able to as of yet. My goodness, Powers just continually dominating everybody in sight. A hill found. And Rise Nation are happy with this because they're finally starting to get points on the board. They were a little bit late to the party because they wanted to try. And establish that mid control detox. Beginning to back up Drix is Adinibs. He's wanting to rush, man. He's ready for the play. I think he might have even try to bait out the smoke there, regardless though. I don't know if they know he, they either know he's here or they're trying to bait him out, or yeah. maybe they just don't. I mean they're just so close to each other right now. So kind of so, dancing around. He's so ready. He's so ready for this fight, Ryan. He starts to back up too. He's trying, trying to see the trades maybe? come in through the middle. Sleeper takes out two players in the middle. Great job by him. I was going to say, maybe it was that like a bait possibly? Yeah, to, like, I don't know. Distract the enemy. Like, hey, like he's trying to make his way in. Now you see Sleeper, after getting those two kills, is going to head on over towards that B-Hill and help out his teammates. Both members of Rise are kind of spread out. Drix, though, going to make the play towards B and take him out in the process. Going to get cleaned up himself, though. Three members alive for each team. The score is tied, but both home hills are in the hands of Rise. Ghost going to now secure that B-Hill, but Shock is going to try to take it back just like that. Decaps are coming in. Whew. Powers, though, sidelines Every him. time. And now Rise once again 
It's going to be in control of the two hills. They're going to have the B hill. They're going to have their own A hill. Sleeper is going to be taken down. Ooh, now we him. ask the question, is Rise going to push forward to the Ghost Gaming Home Hill, who looks like they might be going for an OE of their own. You can see a couple members advance pretty far. They're either going for the, the, the OE or they're just going to try their best to defend their own home hill. If you're Ghost, you're kind of at an odd spread because you have to watch someone of your flank, but at the same time, you want to try to OE a little bit when it comes down to Fountain. It looks as if first man taken down. That's going to be a Vexy's guy who played super well when it came down to that last map. And Go Ghost's OE might be working out pretty well. It looks as if this fight is going to play a lot into whether or not that is going to be a factor. Chaos providing some help. Identives, though, comes in with two. Vexy's is able to respond, but a 3v1 advantage right now for Ghost as they will lock down this particular hill in what seemed like not the greatest situation in the world. Pan out to an overextension through Fountain, or rather Statue, excuse me, that does give them the advantage and the domination in the end. One to one, we knew this would be a back and forth matchup, Landon. Obviously, we went to the round 13 on map one. I would not be surprised to see it on map number two. You're seeing the snipe put in piston, so that it kind of eliminates the two areas where you see the boom shot placed the most. The most popular area is, of course, going to be the mid. The second most popular by far is going to be in that cave or pistons area. So that's kind of, I, I always like that. I like to see the rounds when the boom shot's not in play because I like to yeah. see how the teams, when it's all down to like rotations, team fire, and teamwork, that to me is what, what makes this escalation game mode kind of play at its finest. So looking forward to seeing that in the map. Of course, whoever comes out with this K fight is going to get a snipe in their hands. You see Powers open up with a big double kill on Chaos and Dezo, and now you can see the members of Coast Gaming have to retreat instantly, and the snipe is going to be in the hands of Avexis. Drix is going to get that cap off, and I'm pretty sure you're going to see Potential push over towards the home hill at Ghost. Vexies goes for the shot, not going to get it. You see his teammates heading over towards that home hill. Meanwhile, Identives makes the play to go over to C and steal the home hill of Rise Nation at the same time, so that's going to slow them down. Oh, gets the body shot. Let's see if he can capitalize on it. This is a big frag that he needs to find. Vexies being super careful. Identives able to tag him up, though, in the process. So he can't lose this right now, Ryan. And Powers takes out two as well. All three hills somehow being capped by Ghost. Look, gonna get in. C going to get touched, though. Again, three members of Ghost are down right now. So the, right. the fact that they're getting trip capitals was kind of odd. You had to wonder when you're going to touch it. But Oh, yeah. I've actually got powers down Dezo still. As well. By the way, Landon, he's on their home hill. <laughs> That's not his home hill. He's <laughs> still true. on their home hill. That is now Vic's home hill. Oh, Vic, Vic being powers, by the right. way. Right. And Ghost is like, yeah, okay, powers, you can have that hill, buddy. It's not a problem. Like, you know, you can. We'll go for another one. We'll go for another stroll. Powers, I mean, man. Just a one-man wrecking crew on the map. He's like Mr. It's almost as if he has, like, he's like the power of two people in one. And now look at Ghost Game on the other end, taking out two kills of their own as they try desperately go. to get these home hills back. You see Powers waiting in the middle. Two players on each side of him. Avexis comes in to help. Powers takes out monkeys in the process, though. Is he going to get chaos? And he, no, oh, there's Avexis, I'm sorry, with the snipe. Looked like Powers got him. Avexis with a very nice snipe to help his teammate out. Doing everything they can to weather the numbers. This is the follow-up shot. Has some help, though. Dezo going to go down as well now. So two members alive for Ghost Gaming. Three alive for Rise Nation. Two snipes in the hand of Rise, by the way, as both Detox and Avexis both holding snipes. That is annoying if I had to say this, say this myself. Yeah, right? It's not going to be easy for Ghost to try and contend. Avexis is doing some work through middle, but powered, man. As long as he holds this down, Ghost is always going to have to be aware of that no man's land position. That they're going to have to run toward, and we'll see if Ryan can start to utilize somewhere to that strat. Yeah, and I've actually maybe even referencing back. Rise with two snipes. They have the two hills. They have, what, a 60 ish point lead. I mean, everything's looking right for them. You see the players at Ghost start to move towards that catwalk. And they've so seen the, success there in the past, right? Which is just tough when there's snipes in play, just because you're just so wide open. Like, he can't sit there right now. See, and he has to move, right? You, if the snipe's in the cave, you cannot sit on that cover up there. So yeah. Ghost has to just make him. Whatever that move is, they have to make it. It looks like they're attempting a split push. We are pretty late in the round. You see Identives heading towards that B-Hill, potentially by himself. On the other end, though, Rai's not letting it happen. Three members go down. Identives gets the decap on the B, but the rest of his team just die on the other end. So not going to be enough, and that is going to be another round win for Rise Nation as Ghost Gaming will not have enough time to come off of spawn and make any sort of play. They're even decap and A for good measure. Well, might as well put some icing on the cake. Yeah, right. Finish off with a trip cap. Save us 10 seconds. Two to one. It looks better on the scoreboard if you have a domination rather than a you know time running out. So, hey, I respect it. Yeah, everyone loves the word domination, right? That's, I mean, I do. Even a game mode, you know? Who knows? Regardless, though, let's go take a look at the weapon placement. Looks as if Marx is placed down. 
And I'm interested for this, right? This has been kind of Ghost Gaming's play. They, unfortunately, was their problem that kind of closed them out in game one. But this has been their weapon of choice, and we'll see how they can possibly utilize it for this Pistons fight, one of which has uh, been a big struggle for them so far. Yeah, there's definitely a way for them to kind of change the pace of this map. It's going to be with the marks. Uh, it's not going to have a ton of effect in this open fight, however, so... Vex sees either way, opens up with a double kill of his own. It feels like if it's not Powers opening with a double, it's going to be a Vexies. Dazzle doing his best to answer back as he cleans up the kill on a Vexies, but the B Hill is going to be in Ryze's hands. Powers getting pushed by two members. Not going to take him out. He has teammates behind him, but they're going to back out as well. Kills coming in back and forth. Drix getting a snipe headshot in the meantime. Drix a very good player with snipe, too. Doesn't get, doesn't get talked about enough for his power up and play. He's a very good snipe in his own. You see him looking towards that middle. Players know the snipe's in his hands. Don't do it to him. Don't do it to him. I was going to say, he's I said ready. to Marco, don't do it to him. Both play. Uh, and that, that guy on Catwalk is bold right now. Identifies this. He's playing with fire. It's just as someone jumps in. What do we say? Drix takes Monkey's head right off. Oh, my god. Almost gosh. does the, the back A on to Dezo. It's not going to matter. He'll go down with a shotgun instead. Two members go down. That's going to be three for Ghost Gaming. And now here comes the push from Rise Nation. You see, though, on, on their own home hill, actually, Chaos and Dezo doing their best. Sorry, it's Chaos and Sleeper. Doing their best. That's going to elongate the round. Oh, Rise Nation's onslaught. And Trix is not messing around with that long shot. It's called a long shot, but up close. He seems to be just as dominant with it. Of course, coming on the flank, Monkey's doing some damage. Takes down Detox. It looks as if Trix is just waiting for that chance, waiting for the opportunity. Now it's time to go for the shot he plays. Unfortunately, ends up getting taken down, but has a Vexies toward his side. Can he avenge his fallen teammate? No, not going to happen. Chaos. Chaos comes through with a big double and is ready to maybe take down another. Powers, the only man to possibly make a play right now on this particular hill of A, manages to try to get the deny for the time, but it's not going to equal out to much as it will be Ghost yet again walking away with another round and tying things up at 2-2. Two to two. Massive double kill by Chaos on that home hill. Had that kill not gone through, I don't know if that round happens quite the same way, so good job by him taking that fight against all odds and coming out with it, and now we're at a 2-2. Two, two. Talk about the marks and maybe being the, the weapon that can kind of change the pace, maybe slow down the map a little bit because of how powerful it is, and it looks like it might have done just that. We're going to see weapon placement over at Statue. Incense is going to be placed. In, yeah. Again, not a, not the power of a boom shower. You got to send the whole the whole squad right. over there. But it can definitely make a difference. But they're, they're sure, two yeah. insta kills at the end of the day, right? So you got to always seeing respect a, them. And we talked about like you know kind of that that crane to tree, the A to C split. I mean, how close those are to each other. That has kind of been the main topic of discussion, and especially ghosts or rather you know early rounds for ghosts, the ability to kind of clutch it. That's kind of come through that particular area. So good lancer fire by Ghost in the initial there. Maxis goes straight down. You see Sleeper holding down the middle. You always have to respect that mark. So Dez and I going to end up getting that first blood on the Vexies. Powers comes in with the trades on Chaos. We have a 2v2 in the cave right now. Powers on the other end. Going to take out Identives over at that middle fight. Oh, and Monkeys gets taken down. I thought that was going to be the main frame. Something that could really help out Sleeper and Co. The boys of Ghost Gaming take down this B-Hill. Unfortunately, though, they are getting taken down tier after tier. No success when it comes down to B as off spawn chaos, the only man dodging sniper shots, whistling past his ear. And we'll see how we can try to hold off. Well, for not much longer, Ryan. It was only just a matter of time before he ends up getting dropped. However, a few players off spawn for ghosts. Let's see if they can contest this. Yeah, it's not a ton they can do there if you're, if you're chaos, right? You have to kind of stay alive best you can, but there's just players everywhere. Ooh. Five members go down. One is off spawn. Is he going to make it in time? Going to get chunked instead in Rise Nation now. Three to two. It's been a very, I mean, literally look at the scoreboard back and forth. Yeah. Punch by punch. Are we going to see uh, Rise Nation take a 4-2 commanding lead of the first half? Or are we going to be tied at three to three? And look at Powers, man. 22 kills Shit. already. We've only played five rounds. The guy is just doing it all. That's not fair. Right. It's just not. It's really not. Is that an M-Bar place in Pistons? It, it is an M-Bar, like? yep. Okay. And if, you, if you're Ghost, that's, that's obviously a pretty good place when you have the, the Marxes over in Cave already. Right. I'd say Ryze did a pretty good job in Cave despite that, though. And part of it is because the other side of the map's been doing so well for them that they get to kind of yeah. you know, push in from that, from that angle with a little bit of, of extra numbers. But either way, they're, they're weathering the storm well, and they're making sure the marks don't take over. And here we are in the initial right now. Powers, Powers. on that block, pretty unscathed. going to kind of free reign to go help his team out. First members go down. Identus and Desmo pick up kills. Now Powers going to have to save him. Gets one. Has his eyes set on the second one. Can he get yet another two kill? Two-piece, not two-kill, not even a thing. Oh. Gets taken down himself. 
Detox he last moment. alive. I thought he had a chance. I really do. I thought that, uh, I call him Mr. 1v2 for a reason. He's really that talented. Detox, like you said, last man up for the moment. Players off spawn and oh, ho, 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 takes down Identives. Oh, I think his character's even laughing. I, it's fair to say it's definitely deserved. Wonderful play coming in, dodging shots in the process. And he has, did he get the down on the marks of player? Oh my goodness. I think he got at least an assist. In wow, that was a huge play too. You hear the, the M bar still being shot. But this time I believe it's actually in the hands of Rai. So if Vexies actually picks up the M bar that was stolen from Ghost. And just like that, three members are down for Ghost. What looked like such a dominant round yeah. is now four dead. All like they a, have to do is head to A now, It's like a 1v5 for like a second ago. It just totally changes the tide. That's what this Rise Station team is so good at, man, is getting those big plays, getting those mid-round two pieces together, just turning the impossible into reality. And now they're on pace to run over to the Ghost Gaming home hill. In the meantime, though, Chaos going to make the play over to B to get the decap. That's going to slow Rise down. That's going to make them push some of their numbers elsewhere. So now we're going to see the round develop a little more. Again, Ghost Gaming is actually ahead in time. So if Ghost can get a, a full spawn up here, they're actually going to be fine. They're going to have B and C now. With and they're, they're at full strength pretty much. So if you're Ghost, you, 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 did, you weather the storm. You didn't let the trip cap happen. Chaos get the kills on power. Pa and then <laughs> Vexies is right there to pick him up. Dynamic duo watching over each other. They're, there's always like one after the other. It's like, oh, I took down power. Oh, yeah, there's a Vexies. Great. Just like the one positive you can take if you're Ghost Gaming just immediately gets capitalized on. And still, in the hands of the Vexies, he's got the M bar ready to go, charges it up, and says goodnight. This Leafer, unfortunately, not able to make a whole lot happen in that particular moment as mid fight still breaking down. Dezo ends up getting dropped into Vexies continually with that M bar still being an impact and nearly escaping his chaos. He's counting his good graces, but thankfully joins alongside of a teammate. And Vexies continuing to just be a force when it comes down to B. The Ghost still with the time lead but not by much, and I think we do have a player of Rise Nation disconnecting right now. It appears to be, what, we have a Vexies, Powers, Detox, Drix. Trying to get word. Yeah, and now we're just getting the, the update now. There has been a player of Rise Nation that has disconnected. I think they're going to still end up playing the round out, but in the meantime, they will wait for him to join okay. back. Sh shock, okay. Yeah, so Shock ended up getting out. <laughs> we couldn't tell at first if he DC, but then we saw on the screen that he really right. disconnected. I mean, they're, still, I mean, they're still playing the round out. It's our chance. Yeah. Imagine if Ryze were able to escape with this round. I know they've been in the chat a little bit, and that would be a reason to be somewhat hype. Unfortunately, not able to continue on with that domination as Avexi just gets there in the nick of time. Thankfully, that player was down. So, despite it being a 45, let's see if Ryze Nation can hold on here, Ryan. Yeah, I mean, goes gaming right point, now. Yeah, point advantage, not the, not the greatest. Barring a disaster without anything that's going to happen at this point. Ghost is going to get the third round. Now we're going to be at the half. And again, we'll be waiting on Shock to get back into the lobby as we enter the half, three to three. Again, we are online. Technical difficulties tend to happen from time to time. And so back and forth, we talk about game one. Forge Blitz, three, three at the half. Looking pretty good. You know, we come down to uh, obviously round 13. Game two here on Foundation. Another 3 3 half. These teams are just so evenly matched. Powers is ready, too. He's I was like, going to say, he's, he's, ready like, for, he's ready for static. <laughs> he's like, sorry, guys, my bad. Jump start. And look at Powers rocking that, rocking the Ghost Gaming skins as well. I'm not sure if that's a little bit of a uh, little trolling going on. Yeah, right. Well, I'm killing you with your own weapons type of thing. And, I mean, hey, they're, they're working for him, man. Look He's at these lovely gentlemen it. here. Look at the Christmas sweater swarm. I got to say, the best skin has to go to Identives. He's literally a elf. He's an elf. I love that. And it, it's the Oscar character, too. So he's, he's a Oscar's a unit. Yeah, let's go over there to Identives. Oscar's a, Oscar's a grown man. Best dressed on the map has got to go to the main man Identives. Like, look at that. Slippers and all. There are physics hey. for those boots. Hey, you know, it might be June, but tis the season, Landon. We, have the, we have the Christmas sweater swarm on one side, and then we have the elf <laughs> Oscar on the <laughs> other. It's like a grumpy elf. A very, me. very festive matchup, and you see he has that Gears Pro Circuit weapon That's skin lovely. on as well. Up. Just always looking fresh. Let's see. Who else do we got here? Um, okay, Chaos, you know, okay, decent. Monkey, look at Monkey's using the, paying homage, using the Splice weapon skin, too. I'll say it right now. 
the splice weapon skin, and I, 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 on Echo Fox, on yeah. Envy, we had skins of our own. The the OG season one splice weapon skin it was outright the best one, remains the best one, and that will never change. I remember you talking. That about look this. at that. That is fire. That's that snake is just again they coil uh, it up. Undefeated team skin. Sorry, uh, you know Echo. I love Echo Fox. I loved Envy, but we just that we can't beat that. And look at our free cam right now. He's taking it slow. This is great. I'm loving this. It's like we're selling the skin at this point. <laughs> we can make a commercial out of this. How much are the skins? Uh, you get well, they're, they come in pa what packs? I think ten dollars for the weapon skin. For only nine ninety nine. Chad, oh. how much do the skins cost? I know you guys know. No, the packs cost ten dollars. I think team skins cost ten also. I love this. You can also buy the team characters. Only a few of them though. Oh, is he back? Looks like Shock is oh, back. Oh, let's go. They're actually waiting for Identus to spawn back, which I think is hilarious. <laughs> So how do they signify that? How do they signal this? Like so the way you work is that you basically have, you, so you hit the back button, you have the time. What you do is you agree to roll out a spawn at a certain time. Oh, uh, okay. I so think what they're going to do is they're going to say, okay, go at three minutes and 25 seconds. And then when that hits, everyone think, rolls out. I think what they should do from now on is just fire at the air when they're ready to go. It's like, kind of barbaric. I mean, it does, but this is Gears of War, Ryan. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's time to go! As if you didn't know this is Gears of War here. But then you choose, like, who? then who, who's the one who shoots first, though? I don't know whoever wants to. What I will tell you is back in the day, take it back to the old Gears 1 days, back we used to have shotgun fights and, and you wanted to have a 1v1, you both had to both melee the air before you started fighting. I back, liked that. Back in my day. So kind of similar idea, but back not quite as, day. you're not going to waste yeah. ammo that way. You know? gotcha. But back on the battlefield, we see Detox get the opening kill onto Monkey's Rise, continuing to fight on. Looks like Sleeper taking down two, three members go down for Ghost Gaming. They're going to take out just Detox in the process. The Statue Hill, though, going to be capped by Ghost in the meantime. Both home hills in Rise Nation's hands. Vecchi's joining back up with the squad mates, knowing that, hey, when it comes down to mid, it's pretty well controlled, obviously considering that the hills have, in fact, moved. And it's pretty much a stalemate off the break, so maybe that, uh, that reset, kind of like for everyone to gain back a little bit of that momentum, gain back a little bit of that teamwork as it looks as if Smoke's Toss stopped the start. Desperately trying to silence the beginning rush coming in from Ghost Gaming as Chaos looking to try a team shot coming in from his teammates as Dezo able to drop one. Coming back toward the side of the fountains. Chaos looking for his opportunity, looking for his shot at glory as Identifs able to drop one. Team shots for the second and there goes Drix. Power, shock, all falling. If is the only one off spawn right now for Ryze. And he's taking... Chaos takes him out in the process, so good job by him. You're going to see it's a very, very short spawn, so a lot of times you're not going to be able to get the, the original trip cap super, super quickly. Sometimes it happens, but not, not usually. And so now you're going to see the spawns coming up from both teams, both teams at full strength, but Ghost Gaming now has both D and E to their name. Rise Nation does have the time lead. We're going to see where the next push comes in. You see the Vexies and Sleeper kind of stalemating over towards those Ooh. home hills. Drake's going to push across Catwalk, take out Monkeys, and get trade out in the process by Identives. You can see just kind of still a stalemate over to Sleeper on the other end of that fight, though. That's going to be kind of where the, the action starts to go down is you see if Axie's advanced a little bit on him. Powers and Shock. Wow. Taking out their respective members, but Sleeper going to get the trade on the Vexies. That's going to be uh, pretty advantageous for Ghost because now they're going to be able to get the at least the break on the F. He's going to be met by Drix, but the, he should likely at least get the break, if anything. Does just that. So now, despite losing that neutral hill, he gets the break on to Rise Nation's home hill. He's going to be met by a couple more players and, and likely taken out, but it's going to be up to his teammates now to go capitalize on the other sides of the map because now Rise has three members over towards that home hill. Drix able to drop Dezo, watching a few of his teammates start to compile through Pistons. First player here, it's going to be Identa as the elf himself. Trying to do some work and decides to go back up toward his position. Like you said, Rise Nation somewhat of a control now as we start to look, take a look to the top left of our screens, realizing who is in control of not just the hills, but also the points. As Power's up close, taking one down, but it's all dramatic effect, that's all it is. It's gonna be Rise Nation walking away with this one and taking that four to three advantage off of that reset. So all things and considered. Look, look at Shock, only yeah, two I was, kills, I was say, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's only because your, your stats reset when you join back right, in the lobby, exactly. but it's fun to say, Shock, you only have two kills, brother. Step it up, <laughs> all right? New member, got something to prove. Calling him out, I guess. Before someone yeah. screenshots and puts it on Twitter. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, that's gonna that might happen. So it looks as there if, it is again, uh, yeah. Marks is. And that's been their bread and butter. I mean, from the start of the tournament to the very end, this has been the weapon that's treated them oh so kindly. I do say that considering what knocked them out in round 13 coming into this one. 
regardless though we'll see how that comes into effect of course one player grabbing those off the start but the, the fights are breaking down inside of middle smokes tossed down as well Drick's grabbing one sleep for grabbing the other but identives first one to capitalize at the start of this round and you're seeing just the three members of Ghost Gaming oh, heading yeah. towards that open area of the map with Sleeper sitting in cave with Marks at three members down for Rise Nation. This is looking like a good opportunity for Ghost to push through. Shock, they're gonna get it down in the process. Is he gonna get the finish on it? He does, so at the very least, he'll get a good trade in the mix, so good job by him. And now, it's kind of Drix against the world over at D. Sleeper right in front of him. The kill has not been decapped yet, so Rise Nation's still buying more time to spawn back up. A Vexy's gonna take Ooh. out Sleeper. Deslo's gonna go down the process, so now, Ghost Gaming can no longer really trip cap this round, and Power takes out another one. Now this might look like a Rise Nation counter cap at this point as they're heading straight towards Ghost Gaming's home hill. And a whole lot of players up for Ghost. I think, what, maybe two off of spawn and detox, dropping Identibs with somewhat of an ease. Sleep for going for that opposite side, as this one should be good in their hands. I don't think they're going to get to E in time. It could be close. He's the touch, but he goes down in the process. Now he drops. Player coming from open. Going to be Chaos, takes out Shock. So now two members of Ghost are at Statue. Power's going to have to do his best to take both out. Oh, Ends I think there's getting... someone else here. Yeah, there's a trade that comes in. I think I that think Drix was... Marks a, marks a headshot? I think Drix marks a headshot of him from across the map. Wow. Okay. So fantastic play by him. And now, he said both teams back at square one. And now Drix can take out Identives. Players are spawning up from and Ghost Gaming. they got the 2-2 two, two split, 2-1-D, right, right. 2-1-F. Yeah, I mean, they had the double home hill set up, and now look at all the marks. I think we're going to have three members of Rise Nation <laughs> with marks as they're playing arms race, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is going to be near impossible to push if you don't land some good oh smokes. Oh, my gosh. That is, I can't think of a more frustrating thing than three marks in one team's hands, and look at how quickly the players drop. Four members go down. Identif is going to be the last one alive to try to fight off what is just got to be the most frustrating push in the world. I don't see anyone on the E hill yet. Yeah, there's a whole lot of progress. So I don't think anyone's there. actually going for yeah. E. I mean, okay, so Rise going to maybe just decide to hold down the double homes with the marks instead rather than spreading out the resources. Like I said, they have already such a hard setup to push. They're up 50 points with two hills. Right. Don't risk it, I guess, going towards that statue. So definitely, uh, you know, uh, the, the smart play by them for the conservative play. Looks Here comes so. Ghost over at the F hill, that, however. And trying to make somewhat of an impact. It looks as if they are going to compile for a few kills. In fact, four, or rather three, excuse me, do end up going down. Drix to follow. So will be Ghost, who does hold on to their home hill. And now it's a matter of can they rush fast enough? Yeah, I don't think they have enough time. Yeah, I was going to say, it's oh, starting it's, to... It's oh, still yeah. pretty short it's spawn, so scary, I mean, everyone's yeah. just going to spawn up so quickly. But that's a credit to Rise Nation, right, in terms of how they played out the advantage that they possess because we talked about if they were to kind of maybe try to go for that um what was it the um that statue hill off the start let's say that that fight goes astray let's say that ghost kind of quickly responds they get the numbers back in their favor well if they wouldn't have possessed the lead if they wouldn't have kind of stacked up all that time then you never know like I said, they were kind of i think for me at least investing for the long game which is really important yeah and that's overall what kind of is like that get out of jail free card it's like hey if they were to dominate us guys no no big deal but we got something kind of in store speaking of things in I'll store ghost gaming decides to put the boom next to the marks is but you talk about the the long game you're gonna i think you're gonna see a whole lot of short game <laughs> right just, now because yeah. you, you know what happens when the boom shot goes down it oh, is just man. mayhem there's a lot of five-man wipes. Let's see what these teams can do off the initial. Identum's going to dive in. I'm not sure there's a misroll, but instantly goes down. Drix to get that down and then get the cleanup kill as well. Monkey's also down. Sleeper last alive. But Boom in their hands, four dead. This is looking entirely like a Rise Nation round. Everyone going to be down. I think Monkey's actually got up. <laughs> I don't know if he just admitted defeat. <laughs> Might have. I was going to say, in that push for Ghost, there was nobody in mid. They all went down through stairs. I, don't, I think that it was like a Vexies and someone else who had pretty much all freedom to know that, hey, like we know exactly where the enemy's coming from. And I think that Rise Nation had the ability to kind of pinch kind of through the, the two different corridors. Or well, they knew exactly where Ghost was going to be coming from at all times. So except that's just my outlook for the most part. But I, know, I feel like Ghost Gaming not having anything invested in mid, kind of solely making their way through welding it was at the time kind of allowed for Rise Nation to have a full-on target of, hey, where are these guys at? Let's collapse on them. Once we have boom, it's obviously going to be over because of how fast these wipes are going to be. But Rise Nation on tournament point now. One round away from their third straight wow, weekly emergence days victory. Let's see how this initial is going to play out right now. Dezo going to get taken down super, super early. Let's see if they move forward. 
Detox gonna get the down as well onto Ident as well. He goes for the boom pickup. Shot getting kills in the process. Four members down. Monkeys last alive. Oh, He's heading over towards D to try his best to elongate it. Oh, Dezo leaves Dezo, the game. Dezo, Dezo, please. <laughs> it, it, buddy, your teammates, your teammates here. He made, like, the, he made the sneak. Monkey's like, guys, I got this. And then, oh, man. And they're done. They, they, they're done. Rage quit. Uh, all right. 